Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with these t-shirts. Do you recognize these? I cut them up to make a pet bed. Squares, I do believe. <laughs> I don't ever remember the things that I've done. But I know I made a pet bed and it was very easy to do. And I'm going to make another one. It's not that I'm all into just the pet beds, but it's a small project that I can complete and put on eBay. But this should be the same as the other one. If you like this method, you could make a, a king-size comforter if you want. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. And this is, uh, like I said, t-shirt fabrics with stretch. And I also have these. I had overcut the squares. Um, yeah, so obviously I used squares in the other project. But we're going to use strips. It's going to be like making tubes. And I had a couple of different ideas, but I think I have decided what I want to try. Now, I looked at both of these, and I noticed that this one has a hole up here. I want the strips to be as wide as here, so I'm going to stop at this point. So I'm going to cut according to this one, and then I'll just do the same for the other one. It wouldn't be as big as I would like, but that's what we're dealing with. So I'm going to, um, first of all, just take some scissors and let's get rid of these sleeves. Those are not the right scissors. And I'm going to just um, even these out. Like I said, I'm limited to this piece of t-shirt, but if you're doing this for a bed, you can decide how long and how wide you want your tubes. All right, so I'm going to just uh, cut here. And I'm going to cut here on the 17 inch line right there. I'm going to cut this in half. Oh, so it'll be four inches right down the center. And I'm going to just even them up this way. So I have 4 by 15, but you can do whatever you want. All right, let me do that to the other t-shirt too. This is not going to be enough for even a pet bed, but I can still show you the process that I'm making up as I go along. Because <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Did I say 15 inches? So this is much longer. All right, so right here, even this up. is only going to be four tubes and it's going to look even much smaller. I guess we can go with that. It will be just a little tiny blankie for a little tiny kitten. I am going to take you to the machine now. Here's how I have decided to do this. There are a million ways. First of all, we're not turning anything. We're just going to be top stitching. We're going to have the raw edges just like we did in the other little blankie. I'll have the link down below to that. Just know the auction for that is long gone. And so I'm going to start with my first one by, well, I think I'm going to do them all separately. I'll show you a different way that you could do them, but I'm going to do them separately. So I'm going to sew three sides, the two ends and one long side. And you can use a straight stitch, you can use a zigzag if you want. I'm using a straight stitch. And I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And my tube is just all the same on both sides. If you wanted, you could have the back side completely different. Like you could have one side pink and blue and the other one purple and green. Do whatever you want. When I get to this corner, I'm going to come around and just sew about an inch. 
I guess I can leave my needle right here, can't I? I'm gonna take some of this stuff. <laughs> I have a big bag of it. Oh yeah, so here's how you could do this, but I think it would be clumsy. I, I think I've done something like that before. We're going to put some fiber fill in here, polyfill, whatever fill you feel like calling it. And it doesn't have to be all that thick. It really doesn't. It's just to give it a little puffiness. Now if you wanted, you could start by putting a little bit there, and then you could add this tube at the same time. You'd need to sew the ends on each end, and then you would sew and sew them together but you would constantly be filling the bottom one as we go and then when you're all done you would flip this over this one would be all filled they'd be connected and then you would do the same to the next one you would fill and have another one on top of it see kinda of complicated I know I've done it but I'm going to just do separate tubes and don't worry about something stretching or being off. I mean, this is all very forgiving. The only thing I don't love is that t-shirt fabric. It doesn't um, slide. Kind of hard to shove filling in there. Now, if you wanted something flat, you could have some strips of batting cut. And then you could just, um, you know, quilt a little bit here and there. See, it doesn't take too much. I'm liking that. I'm just filling the rest. I'm going to close it up now. And you can stretch it a little bit if you need to, if you need to make it work. And I did do a little back stitch right there. Okay, we have a tube. Isn't that cute? It's a pretty tube. Let me do the rest the same exact way, and then I'll be back. And I'm done. That was very quick and easy. But you know what I was thinking? If you really were to do something like this really long, I think you would have to put some lines in this direction because you would not want to wash an entire comforter like this because that that polyfill you know could shift in there so I think that and I was thinking of doing that it would make it like little pillows you know th which is fine but I thought oh, I'm gonna make just tubes I don't think I'm gonna do it for this one because I really would like this one to be just puffy but yes, you can go in this direction if you want. Now, again, we have a couple of ways that we can join these. We can do like we did with the squares. Like we put them together and it's just like a rag quilt. And we sew. And then we open and one side is, you know, all finished and the other side is raggy. Only we're not doing any snipping and that's not going to fray. Or we could just sew one on top of the other like this. You kind of have to make sure you've got the other one underneath. I would absolutely do a zigzag in this case. But I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and join like we did the other one. It will look puffier, I think. This way would have given us... A little bit more length in this direction but let's go with what we did before so I'm just putting one on top of the other and I'm going to sew and I'm just sewing with a straight stitch just make sure you got everything in there you want to do a back stitch there it's very easy it might look like this is cumbersome but it's not I'm going to go ahead and stick these two through there too. We'll do some chain piecing. It 
it's very easy for me to feel if everything is, you know, good down there. <laughs> These ends lined up just about perfectly on both ends and this one up here, but this one I I was off a little bit. So I'm just going to um, trim that right there. Now nobody knows. Now I'm going to put these four together and I'm going with blue, pink, blue, pink. Now, I want to make sure that my raw edges are on the same side. So this is smooth, raw edge, smooth, raw edge. So I want to connect it. I'm laying it like this. I want to connect it like this. Voila! It's cute! And it's a good size to put just like on the corner of a couch or on a chair that your cat likes to lay on. They're gonna love this! Alright, let's go look at it near the camera where the lighting is hopefully better. I know, very similar to what I already did, yet quite different. It was much quicker because we were dealing with tubes and not squares. And I know some of you are like, yeah, we could have just figured that out for ourselves. But I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people who don't think up things on their own. They like to see ideas. That's why I do these things. Plus, I just wanted to use that up. Now, I still have a lot of t-shirt fabric. And I have another idea that I might be able to do with that. So I really like this. And again, you don't have to snip this. If you did, at most, it would curl a little bit. But who wants to do all that work when you don't have to? It's not ever going to get thready. It's knit fabric, so I really like it. Let me tell you how big it is. This turned out to be about 12 by 15. It's very soft. Your kitty, a, a doggy. You can have a doggy on this. I know I say it all the time, but I'm going to link down below to a blog post where a woman sent me a picture of her pets, cats, and a dog on a blanket and pillow, and this big, gigantic dog. You have to look at the picture carefully, and you'll see a little tiny pillow sticking out from under him. He just wanted to be on that pillow. It is the most adorable picture ever. So yeah, you know, they just like to go and lay on something. I just think this is so pretty. I like the prints because there's little, you know, snails and what is that? <laughs> Ladybugs and flowers and, and it looks like hearts. So this will be on eBay. Link down below starts at a penny. Bidding starts at a penny. Free shipping USA only. So go try to win this for your pet. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.